Hi, everybody. Welcome to Art Exploration with Mark Muir, and welcome to my collaboration of Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart Inspired Art. Uh, you will find up in the iCard, up, up here, that uh, you'll, you'll, there'll be a playlist linking you to all the other participants, as well as uh, down below, down there, down there, you will find uh, a link to fa a Facebook group, a gallery I'm calling it, because I've opened this collaboration to more than just YouTube artists. I have many artist friends, and a lot of them do not do, do YouTube or do videos or, know, or have the knowledge or the time to always do the filming. So I've decided for this one, I'm opening it, opening it up to anybody who's an artist. So they, you will be able to go to that page and you will be able to see their artwork that they did inspired by Jack and Google Clock Heart. There, there will also be, in that gallery, there will also be a playlist posted so that you can, people who don't usually do YouTube and do, do follow stuff on Facebook can find the link to the YouTube and watch the people who have participated in, during the videos. So now we're going to get started. Um, I found this awesome little heart here uh, at Michael's for like three or four bucks. I have went over it with a little bit of um, metallic antique gold. And I did take the time to pre-make this part of it because it's paper clay and had to dry. And I forgot to film it. Um, I am also going to be using these paper flowers. There'll be a link in the description to my video of how, how I made my, my um, coffee filter flowers. So now we're just going to have fun. I'm not, this video is going to probably be a little bit long, a little bit rough for some people. I may stop talking at point, some points in time in, in, during it because I'm focusing, but I really am just trying to put the fun back into doing this without having to constantly edit stuff. It's just not my thing. Sorry. So we're going to start with painting the, the cuckoo clock part. Now, what I did is when I make when I did this with paper clay, I had a piece of plastic that had a little bit of a ball that I didn't realize, so that it, it somewhat fits this. It'll you know it'll, it'll be glued down and stuff, but it was done on this, so so I could get the right a little bit of movement. And now it didn't stay all together because I didn't uh, put all the clay pieces together when I did them. So all I did on the back was once it dried, I just took a piece of a paper, thin paper and some Maj Posh and it's holding it together just fine. That's all you really need to do. So now we're going to get to painting this part first. So we'll move Mr. Hart over here for now. Got a couple colors I'm going to try. Sorry if this right there's a little bit awkward, but I'm still working out my lighting and I do use glass on my desk because I found that glass makes an awesome palette. Cleans up easily and it's, you know, a little safer than wasting, wasting it on things that you don't need to. I thought I had a bunch of these browns that actually worked, but apparently they don't like me today. This one is apparently really, and they've all been sitting like this. So they all should be, be coming out real nice and easy, but apparently, apparently they don't like me today. So, oh, 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 duh. I'm a potato head. Uh, now I'm the real potato head because I grabbed the wrong color. I know you can't see what I'm doing up there, but it's just, I'm just putting paint down. You're not, ew. You hate when they get the globbies. You think, well, how do I even get that globby thing in there? It's been sealed. 
Ew. Ew, come on. That's gross. Holy potato. It's like one big huge glob. I think I got it all. Except now my good thing I have things to wipe my hands with. I use <laughs> these are my paint cloth. Just old ripped up t-shirts and stuff like that that aren't usable anymore. Make great paint rags. In case you didn't know that. Okay. Now, um, if you have never seen Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, but you've wandered on this, and you're going, what is Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart? It is currently available to watch on Netflix. I found it a couple years ago, actually, on YouTube. And I fell in love with the movie. It's a great little, like, odd little love story. That's all I can say. It's an odd little love story in many different ways. Um, I think that if you take the time to watch it, you will fall in love with it like I did. If you don't mind some music, because it's got some singing in it. Originally, it was a French movie, I believe. And it was called The Boy with the Cuckoo Clock Heart. And it's just, I don't know, there's something, there was something about the movie that just said, hello, I'm awesome. Am I, is, okay, I think I'm, am I, how to focus on? It's not supposed to be on. I think I turned it off. I have to keep an eye on things. Out of focus messes up stuff. I think I did turn it off. Let me check. Yes, I did turn auto focus off. So, because I don't like it popping in and out and in and out and zooming all over the place. People tell you, tell, will tell me, I can get seasick from that. Believe me, I do too. Or you think nothing's worse than when you sat and you filmed a whole long video and it's out of focus. And I have to check my stuff because I actually have. A bigger screen that was from an, old, uh, an older desktop that I used. I hooked my laptop monitor to it so I can see it bigger. And that way my laptop's off to the side, not in danger way. However, occasionally I still have to look over there because this one, the bigger one for some reason, still wants to come up looking blurry half the time. So I have to check that one to make sure it's just not the way it's looking. And this one, I was working on it. I was just rolling the hand rolling with, actually I was using, I think I was using a spray can or something I had of um, paint sealer, <laughs> just to flatten it out some and roll it out thin. There was no preciseness to it. And then I would just, uh, I was doing it on this and I would just take my X-Acto knife and cut some stripes and stuff and stick everything, you know, cut some things out, stick them on the thing. And then I would take a, uh, I have a daughter tool. Where is it? I can never find these things when I want them. Come on, daughter tool, where are you hiding? This thing. It's got a pointy little weird flexy side over here, and then it's got this little ball. And I just Went like that with it. And then to make them a little bit finer, I also used just my X-Acto knife. 
kind of went for a wood grainy looking stuff. And this is close to the exactness of the actual cuckoo clock that's in that's Jack's heart. I did forget a little bit of the bottom stuff. And it's not square part, it's more rounded. But for what I'm using, I, I kind of just like, you know, sometimes you got to take artistic license and just do whatever you want. You know. Things artists do. And then I'm sure once I put this on, I will find more areas that I may have missed painting, which can just easily be fixed. But there's going to be lots going on, so that's exciting to me. I mean, I have, I have so many bits and bobs and pieces and cogs, and oh, it's going to be very steampunky in, in some senses. And this has been in the making as far as the collaboration for over a year. My one friend, actually, I barely got it out of my mouth, my friend Faith. I probably barely got it out of my mouth before she decided that she was already going to have hers done. <laughs> done and sent to me in the mail. And she's like, well, I figured it would make you hurry. <laughs> It's honestly just been um, a rough last year for me finding time to do stuff. I thought I had it all figured out, and life happens. To where I just don't have the... I'm still trying to find a job to, to that I can make what I'm making now, but make, work less days. And yeah, we all know how that goes. I would just like to have, when you work, you don't work for full time, you don't get paid vacations and stuff, to have to work almost every single day but one a week sucks. Because you don't get that, you know. I would like to have my one or two days free during the week that I would count as my vacation days, even though they wouldn't be paid vacations. But they would be, you know, I would know I'm working this many days a week. I always get this many days off. So those count as my vacation, and the other, and the rest is just my work, and I don't it doesn't affect my pay. Yeah. Someday I'm still got some goals in sight, and I am working on making my goals happen. I mean, it took me forever, honestly. Like. And I really enjoy being back into my art. I probably took about nine years off or so. I just didn't art anything. I mean, like, I did some computer stuff and was a, was a creator on a, a, a platform called IMVU, which actually, if I had had a better computer, more knowledge, and stuff, I would probably still be over there creating and making some mega bucks. Because some really good people who make some stuff, oh, the money they can make. Especially if I knew how to do 3D uh, meshing. I think that's what they call it. Okay. Let's get this drier one and see how. See, I don't want it to. Over. Take it. I want it to kind of dry brushing to make the 
stuff pop out more. The darker insets and stuff. I'm going to probably be a little quiet here soon because I just need to focus so that we're not here for 10 hours. I'm not going to play anything in the background because, first of all, we get demonetized. I'm not going to do a speed through because everybody gets mad at those. I mean, unless it's certain things. People don't mind the speed through over, and other things are like, um, that's not what I was hoping for. Get in there. A couple of little spots I may have missed. It's hard when you're when you're first doing this because it's wet, and with the lights, the lights make it more. You can't tell, is that a reflection of wet paint or is that a reflection of white that I missed? I'm going in with a little bit lighter, lighter brown. I kind of want like the tip's edge around the opening to be a little lighter.
come in with just a little bit of the gold. Only in certain areas. And that's that for that part. Looks kind of good, doesn't it? Now, I do want to add uh, these couple nut pieces to this. This is going to be uh, scares me because I'm going to be playing with hot glue. That's why I'm using this. Here. We have three ha three cats. Well, I have two cats, and we have a neighbor cat that thinks he lives here. Now these are a fun little story that came off of a, I had been beating my head because I wanted these little bolt pieces or the screw pieces. And I could not figure out what I was going to do. I was like, well, I could make something, whatever. And I kind of like, oh, whatever. Well, I was going through Walmart the other day and I found this for a dollar. So I popped a couple off, painted them up and voila. <laughs> Recycle, recycle, reuse. Um, okay, I think that's it for the what we need to be doing for the painting. So, give me two, three seconds. I do not like to waste paint needlessly. So, when I have something like I have now where I have paint left, where'd it go? I'll take one of my mixed media journal things and a brush and we'll just real quickly do this. I'm trying to do it real quick because I don't want to be here for 10 hours driving you guys nuts. So a little bit dark in there. Touch of light. Let's see the gold. I know it's going to come off there, gold, but I don't care. And I don't mind if I leave a little texture here and there. You never know what things are going to look like. And I find them and I use them a lot of times later on down the road as backup. 
as a eh, what's it called? I'll use them for backgrounds on different for different things I do in my journals. Okay, well, let's get the rest of that cleaned up off of there. Because I have that gooby part over there. It's not pretty. Ah. Here's now we're gonna start the fun part, putting everything together. I've got oh, I did need a little bit of black. That's okay. Got cogs and coggy cogs and keys, and I've got my flowers, and I've got that, and I've got this. So I don't burn myself. There was one point in time I did a video and I had to redo the video because I burnt myself and there was a lot of swearing. A lot of swearing. Ooh, a lot of swearing. <laughs> so, this is going to set right there. So, so, I know I'm putting it where I need it to be, where I want it to be. I'm going to edge that like that. So before I put that on there, look, see some of the paint's still wet, which is fine. Because here comes a little bit more paint. I'm going to have to make sure. So that's quick drying. Um, I'm going to clean the paint off of my hands real quick here. Because as painters and crafters, how many times have you been working with something and then all of a sudden there's a fingerprint? <laughs> it's like, no. And it always ends up right where you didn't want the fingerprint. Like, see right there? Oh, no, that's from the... I think that'll... That won't really matter. Okay. Now, because I'm not sure what parts of the surface of this are going to actually adhere, all I can really do is give it a good generous amount of hot glue and pray. All righty. Hopefully get this on before that all quickly cools down. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, I think we I think we made yep. We made it on there before it cooled. <laughs> Hate these little hairs that the that the glue leaves. Don't you? Of course, except for that one. I'm pretty sure that one's cat hair.
I bought these little tweezers the other day. At the Dollar Tree. Because I'm like, I need something so I don't burn myself. Now, this is the clock part. It's going to go right here. It should pretty much fit in there. It doesn't have to fit perfectly because this is, believe me, if you've seen the movie, you'll know. It's not perfection. This is actually, I had this like ugly little lantern made out of, I think it was from the dollar store, the dollar tree, you know. And one of the grand, well, not my grandkids, but one of the, the grandkids, my great, my great nieces or nephews, nephews or niece, I'm not sure which one, broke it. No, it was a niece. I remember now who it was. But they broke it. You know, how kids accidentally break things. Not an issue. That looks nice, doesn't it? This is uh, the, the, my clockworks and stuff. I got some of the pieces from my awesome friend, Faith. Abstract Possibilities. You'll find her link below. And my other good friend, Shay206. You'll find her link below. Or at least they'll find them in the playlist. So please don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to anyone you see in the playlist if possible. I mean, it really helps us. It helps us to grow as people and as artists and get to get more exposure. I'll fiddle with some of this other stuff later on. The little, I call them spider hairs. They drive me nuts. People use this stuff to make spider webs if you're using the really good hot glue stuff. Okay, I think before I start putting cogs and stuff on, I'm going to start doing my flowers. Now, the only thing I didn't show in my video when I was doing flowers is originally like they're exposed kind of like this where you can see this is a clear tape but it used a blue I had a blue tape but I just used some green and then I cut some leaves out and some of these have gotten a little bit fluted and I just go back through and I because they're just they're, these are just uh um, coffee, coffee filters that I dyed. If you follow the, the link for that, you'll 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 see how they're made. And they're made beautifully. I'm making these ones for St. Patrick's Day for for somebody's hair piece, like a hair dress. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so now the video is going to go a little faster, I think. And this was supposed to kind of represent Jack and, oh, what's her name now? Oh, my goodness. The love of his life, and I cannot remember her name. Even if you paid me, I'm sorry. Because I've been so wrapped up in, in stuff. I, I know, I'm like, I'm a failure. <laughs> That one, I'm still, this one's going to be a filler back here. Because I don't like the way it looks, but I need the filling. But I did the green parts, which first of all, they needed to cover the blue tape. And second of all, I actually think that they make it look better. They help fill in some of the areas.
Now, if I were doing this for a uh, wreath or something, I wouldn't worry about that part because it's a wreath. Like, see, there's that little spot right there. I'm thinking I'm going to put something. And I know I wanted to put a couple over here, maybe. I think my kitty cat uh, might have sat on a couple of these. They don't understand boundaries. A web of crazy. Look at this. Mm. Web of craziness. <laughs> Hot glue's evil. I feel like somebody's needed right there. Yep, and you're the one. Sometimes it's just fiddling, playing. I think I'm liking that one up there. Where's this one up there? I'm thinking this one up there. Oh, I don't know, maybe over here. Yes, like that. The... Yeah, I had no planned out actual where who was going where. We were just playing catch up. Gosh, I'm just loving this. What do you guys think? Now comes the tedious uh, part. That's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay. 
Okay. I was going a little crazy on who, what, where, when, why. Whoops. Can't be doing that now, mister. Oh, that's a cool one. I think you should go right there. As you can see, there's no real reason or rhyme to what I'm doing. Just throwing some cogs on here and there, hoping for the best. Oh, there's a key. I think I'll deal with the keys in a minute. Let me get the cogs on first. I need a big... Right there. Hmm. A couple of these are silverish, and I didn't realize that. That's okay. All fixed.
phone. L, L, burn, burn, burn my phone. One call down. One call down. Only one more of the good cogs left. And I know exactly where I'm putting him. Ow! <laughs> oh, I got him on the side of my hand with a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I wish I had about 50 more cogs. But I'm lazy. My lovely ladies... They sent me cogs because I didn't have any cogs. They had cogs, so they shared their cogs with me. They're the best cog sharers you'll ever meet. Faith and Shay. They said, we got cogs. We'll send you cogs. We'll send you so many cogs, you won't know what happened. And honestly, they sent me what I thought was like a ton of cogs. And I've learned that I can blow through a ton of cogs real quick. See, I had this thing. And I don't... Yeah, I think it blows it off. It just throws the whole thing all to poop. Put start putting some of these over here. It will. It's incorporating more into it. I'm actually quite in love with this right now. I don't know if I should. No, I think that's too much. I think that's it, guys. Oh, my goodness. There it is, guys. Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. I hope you like it. hope you love it. This represents Jack, and this represents his, his lady friend, who I still can't remember her name. I think it's a... It's a... Uh, I should have Googled this. <laughs> if you guys know her name, put it down in the comments to remind me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the iCard. And don't forget to turn on that notification so that every time that we do a live and maybe more collaborations that are coming up in the future, you won't miss out on them. If there's something else you'd like to see in the future, let me know. Till then, take care and have a good day. Zombie hugs.